Okay, salawam, salawam, kum ya sa'ala, kuhulim la yahawa ba'ashim ya wasai ba'ashim rakaha kudash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well. And that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. And just want to say the water to all the Akiyam and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai to the best of their ability. This is Yachanan Nawaf just coming at you with another quick lesson. Praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. It's out getting a little walk. A little quick when um, I seen this man, and hey, they really are pushing that division in this country very, very hard, man. Because this is all that's going to come out of this right here. It says federal relief workers say FEMA is moving away from helping greatest number of people to LGBTQ disaster equity and woke webinar. Right? So this is what's happening out here. So these people are already pissed the fuck off that all these billions of dollars are being sent to Ukraine and Israel and all these different places. Of course, you know, they're super pissed with the immigrants supposedly getting free hotels and free, uh, you know, um, just money cards and shit, you know, with, uh, just with no limits, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, and all this um, support that they're getting, so Esau Edom, the so-called white man, hey, they're, they're, they're tight right now, man, they're pissed, they pissed off, man, and they're ready to get down, so if something like this right here, considering they're not helping those um, flood victims, you see what I'm saying, them not helping them flood victims like that, and then this is what y'all trying to do, Oh, these people, man, they, they about to lose their goddamn mind, man. Anyway. Okay, it says, um, in FEMA's alphabet, D-E-I comes first. All right? So I came out here walking. All right. Damn ice cream truck still out. It's getting cold, man. Motherfucker out here still running the damn ice cream truck. I guess they might as well get the little bit they can. Okay, it says, um... FEMA webinar features federal health and disaster personnel trumpeting the urgent need to move away from policies that benefit the greatest number of people and instead turn focus towards disaster equity, which aid is distributed based on innate characteristics like sexual orientation and gender identity. <laughs> hey, these Republicans, man, they, they ready to lose it, man. Hey, this is right here, the type, this is the type of stuff, this is how you know this stuff gotta be orchestrated. And we know that it's all about the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai anyway. But, this was 2023, it's not, see we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. There's a reason why they would drop this story right now. Because they know that people are already pissed. So, they push stuff like this to just cause more division. Because this is coming from, you know, the top elite of them. See, the, the elite, man, they, they, they not worried about shit. They, they situated in a goddamn castle somewhere or underground bunker. And they're just, you know, just waiting things out, you know, pushing their little agendas through. But, you know, nothing's going to go down except for when the Lord wants to go down anyway. But they really do think they have that power. But the Lord is using them on the left-hand side to do what they're going to do. But it says, hey, <laughs> the roundtable discussion recorded in March of last year so why are we just hearing about this was entitled helping lgbtqia plus god damn <sighs> survivors before disasters <laughs> included panelists like maggie jerry of substance abuse and mental health services administration and was moderated by tyler atkins an emergency manage management specialist at fema who uses he they pronouns so this is what happens when you get these people in these positions. See, they come in there, they already wicked as hell. They have a wicked ass agenda, and then they get to using the laws to move towards, you know, more towards what they what they're into. That's what's been going on. Look, look at um, look at uh, 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 Joe Biden's cabinet, man. All oh, they've been pushing is uh, I'm, I, I've been saying it. The only people that has been um, coming up or winning or doing well as far as since Obama was president and um biden being president is the lgbtq them the only people that's winning man i've been saying that you know and the so-called black woman here and there you know what i'm saying but they not even winning like how the lgbtq is man they killing the game these motherfuckers and completely took over so okay it says the panelists covered a range of topics around the notion 
that disaster services are shortchanging marginalized groups when it comes to relief efforts. LGBTQIA people and people who have been disadvantaged already are struggling. They already have their own things to deal with. So when you add a disaster on top of that, it's just compounding on itself, Atkins Muse, to the group. Okay, well, isn't the help for everybody? If they're in the area, of course, they're going to get help just like anybody else. So why push it to the point where, you know, the, every, or they got to be laser focused in on these particular people? Because I'm telling you, they've been getting down like that for quite some time, man. And this place is through. It says, I think that is maybe the why of why we're having these discussions because it isn't being talked about. It isn't being socialized. We're not paying attention to this community, he claimed. You're right, man. Look, if anybody getting some money, if there's any claims to be made, you best believe they on top of it. You best believe they on top of it, man. We talking about, they're not missing out on, hey, look, if it comes down to any, you know, <laughs> you know the phone call you get when it's that bullshit number. If it's any scam likely, oh, they all over it. That goes with, with 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 any of your your um your Democrats, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? They hear about a little something, something. Shh. Got to do with getting some money. All you got to do is go through and fill out a few applications. <laughs> you putting in a claim? Or oh, they the king of that, man. So the, don't think that these people are missing out on anything. So why is this focus all on them? It says, as the remaining panelists nodded in enthusiastic agreement, Jerry made a startling revelation that federal agencies are ostensibly slocky I'm probably pronouncing that shit wrong as hell taxed with saving as many lives as possible in a disaster should be focusing their attention elsewhere the shift were the shift we're seeing right now is a shift in emergency services from utili utilitarian principles where everything is designed for the greatest good for the greatest amount of people to disaster equity but we have to do more she ur she urged she then suggested ex um, exiting disaster management agency policies may have been deliberately engineered to leave out vulnerable communities yeah and, and really in reality when it comes straight down to that they're really talking about uh the so-called um blacks hispanics native americans so to speak but guess what they're always pushing that civil right bullshit right along with your LGBTQ. Why can't they just separate the two? Because they know that there's differences in it. But see, they, they done came up. They done won their fight through you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And you're still at the bottom. You still ain't got shit out of it. Like I said, again, these are the only people that benefited from Obama's presidency and um, Joe Biden's presidency. And they're the only ones really going to benefit if Kamala comes in there. Because it's going to just be a carry-on. And you can clearly see her right here. You know, she was um, um, Vice President Kamala Harris visited FEMA headquarters to assess damage from Hurricane Helene. Right? It says the topic at hand here are the policies that have been developed actually biased in benign neglect and intentional erasure of the, of the specific communities that are probably most in need of those services. And does the aid then bias towards people with assets? Or other types of situations that weren't part of the norm of this industry in the past. Atkins visibly moved by her oratory, capped off her words with a DEI word salad. <laughs> the topic of preparedness and prepare and preparedness resources and their intersectionalities within <laughs> within equities and <laughs> discrimination and hate. It's a real thing that needs to be discussed, needs to be vocalized, and we need to start looking at how we can find solutions to this. Okay, so. All right, that's supposedly a destroyed church. Hey, hey all praises to Yahweh about Shemel Shai. The Lord is, is knocking the damn churches off. Anyway, man, we don't we don't need to go any further into this. This, this shit is crazy, and all it's going to do, let's go to some of these comments. Matter of fact, I'll come back to some comments. Let's grab a scripture or two, because really what's going on here is this place is being uh, 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 chopped up like a goddamn pie. Got a slice here, slice there, everybody. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> it's not even that 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 regular size um, 
pie portion that you would normally get. That shit's so divided up. You know, America's through, man. Matthew 12 and 25. And Yahweh knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. And every city or house divided against itself cannot stand or shall not stand. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? So this is what you're saying. And, and it's being orchestrated on purpose. And really, in reality, like I said, it is the Lord. Because Esau, he's the king of discord, man. You know, and, and what he has um, sown, he's now also reaping. So you have the so-called white man. Hey, they was on, you know, you know, there was a time when they was on top winning. Especially the straight white male, the straight white woman. There wasn't no damn LGBTQ cutting into their shit like how they cutting into it now. It wasn't no so-called black people cutting into their shit like how they cutting into it now. See? They all they always talking that equality shit and rights this, rights that, but when it comes straight down to it, they don't really want that, man. <laughs> That's just a talking point, man, to get a vote or something. You know, but this LGBTQ shit, for them to just be focused, laser focusing in on these people like that during a disaster, females for every fucking body. Everybody putting in on that shit. You know? If your ass is there, it don't make no difference what your gender, what your, you know what I'm saying? It, it, I, you know, I know it's some, you know, some systematic racism there and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But overall, they're generally, they're going to, eh, they're supposed to help. Everybody that's, that, that needs to help, you know what I'm saying, when it straight comes down to FEMA, man. <laughs> this shit right here is crazy as hell, man. But this division, it, it, this is being done on purpose, man. And it's to pretty much to um, um, get these people at each other's throat, man. The, the Egyptian against the Egyptian. Um, Apostle Ramla, he was going into that today. He, uh, um, that's what his, uh, his, his, his lesson was entitled to. The Egyptian against the Egyptian. Uh, let me see if I can find that. Yeah, man, it's about to get hardcore grimy out here. I may not be able to find it. It's locked here. Uh, is it in the Apocrypha? But basically, what is going into, roughly paraphrasing, is, you know, these Americans are about to be at the American throat through Civil War. Because, matter of fact, when you go into the NLT, New Living Transversion of the very same verse that I just read, verse 25, Matthew 12 and 25, it says, Yahweh Shai knew their thoughts and replied, any kingdom divided by civil war is doomed. A town or family splintered by feuding will fall apart. See? And I was just watching this video. Let me see here. It's a lot. I was just watching this video with um, the Apostle Tahar. Let me see if I can find it. He was going, I don't, I don't want to play it, but Where's that video at? One too long ago, and I was watching it. Yep, oh, this was the Apostle um, Aramblab, Egyptian against the Egyptian. Um, hold on now. I guess it didn't save into my history. I was just watching it. Um, but it was a small, short video. Matter of fact, let me see. Off into the pot right here. Yep, this was the one right here. It was a five minute and thirty one, um, five minutes and thirty one seconds, and it's entitled "Watch What This Man Says." Bible prophecies coming to pass, because basically what this guy was going through and what he was saying was, "Hey, we <laughs> we're not having no loss. Um, um, we, we're not having Trump lose. We're pretty much they ready to rock. They ready to go to war, man. One of your big, you know, big ass grizzly back so called white person." You know, and, and, and it's plenty of these people, too, man. They all in them back-ass woods. I work with a lot of them, you know. I was at a, a sporting goods shop earlier today. And, you know, I was kind of looking at, you know, some stuff. Hey, hey, hey. Huh? Okay, yes. Yeah, so, so lock you for that. My auntie pulled up on me and stuff. <laughs> like I said, auntie comes. She came bearing gifts, man. She made me big ass pot pie she always make the um i don't know if you know like those regular pie pans you know the the, the, the regular size pie she, you know she make these big stupid deep dish um chicken pot pies or whatever and she dropped me one off huh? so you know all praise to see y'all about shimmy all the for that man you know the lord be looking out but anyway um it's like you you want to lose 
where we was at. But let's get some of these comments and see how these people are really feeling out here about shit like this. This person says, no matter how much FEMA has fucked up, the disaster assistance at the end, they will take a victory lap with Sunil Joe. Yeah, anyway. This person said, Trump to save America. See, with all the heart emojis, all the American flag emojis. With the fist emojis. Another, the, the, the next one, Trump Vance. You can see him. See, they really believe this, um, this um, Trump is going to really save this place. And it's just not going to happen. This person says, if this is true, disaster has no race, color, gender, equality. Mother Nature doesn't discriminate. Well, ain't no fucking Mother Nature. We know that it's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that's, um, you know, um, that kills and makes alive, that wounds and that heals and that brings forth these um, disasters, man. The Lord is the, 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 the father of spirits, man. He's the one that's out here moving everybody about the way that they need to be moved about, man. So whether it's Esau doing this shit, causing these weather patterns or, or not, it's still all on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It says, tell the Democrats that Trump Vance 2024. Trump Vance 2024. So see, these people, hey, they, these people, they, they, they rallying around Trump. And they don't, and they feel, and they're not accepting no loss, man. It can be a, a straight, fair and square win for Kamala. They're not accepting that shit. You best believe they're not accepting that, man. And we tell you, Jake, all the time, man, stay out of that shit. Don't, don't get out here. You want to get out here? Hey, man, ain't no telling what this shit is about to be like, man. This shit, man, ain't no telling, man. People about to be out here with goddamn um, um, them damn tear gas mask on, smoke all in the air, gunshots go, man, ain't no telling what this shit is about to be like, bro. That's why we pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah for mercy and his protection, man. Don't get caught up with these people, man. Let Esau go out and fight for the very shit that he stole. Right? And this is, I mean, this is just idiotic, man. I mean, but hey, but all praise to see you, Howard, because these things got to happen. Let's get on um, Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the, the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. And that's a lot of mourning that's going on out here, man. I've been seeing some of the, you know, um, we've well, been watching Euro News. And somebody got boots on the ground there, you know what I'm saying, doing videos and uh, you know, interviewing um, people that have lost everything and shit, man. And them people, them, hey, them, them so-called white people sad as shit, bro. Crying, you know what I'm saying? We've lost everything. We don't know what we're going to do. We didn't have the flood insurance because, you know, one lady, yeah, she 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 was bawling, man. You know, she, she well, she wasn't bawling, but you can just see that pain in her face. She was just like, we just couldn't afford it. We, you know. We redone it. I think if they, I don't know what they ended up, they ended up dropping it. They actually had the flood insurance, but they was like, this shit was like $600 extra a month or something. And she was like, we just couldn't afford it. And we didn't think that anything was like this was going to happen. Yep. Swept their shit right away. And, and they're not really giving us the full truth as to what is really going on. You know, we're hearing bits and pieces, you know, and you can only just speculate really. But knowing Esau, this fucker is so goddamn wicked. You know, that that he's ass backwards, man. Why would you be sending all these money to all these other countries and helping out all the uh, these other countries when you're not helping out your own citizens, especially in a disaster, bro? A damn disaster. You're supposed to. It's supposed to be all stops. Then I seen um, Joe Biden wobbling his old ass out there with them goddamn aviator shades on. You know, looking around. And acting as if he's assessing shit, as if he's going to do something, knowing full well he's not. And this thing is just about to get crazy. So, but really, I just wanted to bring out that Matthew 12 and 25 because things are about to get really, really riled up, man. And um, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, these, these, these so-called white people, they're about to show you that you're not American. That's why I would say stay out of it. <laughs> because this is not our rest, man. Stay out of these people business, man. Let Esau fight each other. They about to do a civil war. You, you should be in your motherfucking house. Watching that shit from the news. If you got, you know, if they if they don't um, um, take down the fucking Internet or whatever, don't you know, they don't have a complete damn blackout. Micah two and verse 10. 
Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted and shall destroy you, even with a sword of destruction. And so this is not our rest, man. If anything, you should be happy as shit to see this place fall. But you, but, but a lot of our people, and mainly two-thirds, the two-thirds, I'm praying that I'm not. Man, I pray the Lord don't um, send me back into this crazy-ass world. That's why we always pray, um, you know, please don't blow out our candlestick or take away your Holy Spirit from us, you know. The prayer of David, man. Please don't take your Holy Spirit away from us, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because if you do, you can be out here bugged the hell out, man. Out this motherfucker with some fatigues on and a goddamn American shirt. <laughs> Screaming, this is our country. Now, I don't want to be one of them people, man. Because a lot of our people going to get slaughtered, man. They're going to get slaughtered. And it's going to be all by the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So we're not tripping on it. What's got to happen, got to happen before we can go to the kingdom. So, hey, we're applauding it, and we're praying that it actually turn on up, and these people go ahead and get at each other's throats. <laughs> and we just want to be out of the way of it, man. Matter of fact, what's that That one scripture? Because uh, you can just see it happening. You can see it coming. Um, that, How is it quoted? Uh, Salakia. The prudent man. He's, he foreseeth the evil. Proverbs 22 and 3. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. So simple ass Jake, they're going to be running their stupid asses out here like they're Americans and going to be getting gunned down. Along with the so-called black woman, so-called black Hispanic Native American woman, especially the so-called black woman. She's going to get her ass gunned down out here running around in these motherfucking streets acting as if I'm telling you, you've seen Black Lives Matter. You know, that organization that's ran by white people, really a, a so-called white per person's organization, but uh, the face of it is niggas. They're going to be running around out here just like that, except this time it's going to be real fucking bullets flying at the asses, man, from the opposition. There going to be no damn rubber bullets from the cops. That's going to be, you know, like a walk in the park, man. And that's when Eve going to take her ass in the house. Trust me. She's not going to want a part of that because hey, these Trump supporters, they're not accepting no loss. They're not about to accept no loss, man. The stage is set. The stage is set, my baby. We can see it. Let's grab one more. Yeah, all right, the will be out on this one. Yeah, we living in, in, in some very beautiful times, man. Ephesians 5 and 15. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. You should be walking circumspectly, man, paying a damn attention to what's really going on. And our people are not doing that. that but that's the reason why we, we do these lessons. We go out on the highways and byways. We explain what's happening. And there's not going to be no excuse, man. It's not going to be no excuse. It's not going to be like you haven't heard this truth, man. We've been telling you that this man is the fucking wicked. <laughs> and you want to join hand in hand with him. And, 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 and fucking be out here in these streets. And it's just, see, it's going gonna, it's gonna to seem like a damn joke to a lot of people until, you know what I'm saying, limbs and shit get to flying. No? Matter of fact, I just thought of another one, too. Let's go into the apocrypha real quick. Yeah, things about to get grimy out here, buddy. Let's go into um, Second Address, chapter 15. Start at verse 14. It says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, which, which means it's close. And one people shall stand up to fight against another and swords in their hand. What are those swords? Those are the modern day guns, shotguns. And, and Esau is fucking expert snipers, man. Them motherfuckers going to be sitting out on a building somewhere picking Jake ass off, man. Like it's nothing. Jake don't know nothing about nothing like that. Jay going to be running around out here trying to shoot their little pistol sideways like it's a goddamn a New Jack City movie or some shit. Looking stupid. Right? Verse 16, it says, For there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another, 
They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Which means they're not going to regard the police. They're not going to regard, they're not listening to the mayor. They ain't going to give a fuck about what the senator or the governor or the vice president or the president has to say. They're going to be out here full-fledged and armed up and, 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 and rolling through your cities. Probably in, hey, Esau be having, um, you know, uh, Esau be buying those military vehicles, man. Don't think that the, the regular um, Edomites uh, that's just in, in, in these militias, they, they got shit, man. Them, them fuckers got some shit. They're, they're really, they're small militaries. They got some stuff, man. You know, fuck around, man. They'll fuck around and hit a, 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 a one of these army spots or some shit like that, man. Motherfuckers know how to fly helicopters. They know how to fly jets and shit. These, you know them old ass veterans, man. They'll run off in that shit, man, and take them shits over. Next thing you know, they flying over your neighborhood, dropping some shit on you, Jake, man. Yeah, hey, let me get that back again. For there shall be sedition among men. Second Edges 15 and 16. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. This is all prophetic, man, coming to, coming to pass. And a, and a man, it says, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Just imagine whatever city you're in, and, and you live on this side of town, and you, your family live on the other side of town. Just think, you might actually get caught up trying to just make it home from work or some silly shit. You might have just, because see, people don't be paying no attention. You, you might, a motherfucker could be somewhere across town bullshitting with some friends. He's trying to get back home, and next thing you know, shit, shit done started. <laughs> shit done started. I'm trying to think, was that Bushwick that I seen that was kind of like that? Motherfuckers didn't know what was going on, and motherfuckers was getting picked off. That movie Bushwick, I think it was. Verse 18, for because of their pride, the, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. And see, these are some very prideful ass people. But what Esau don't know is that pride comes before destruction, man. That haughty look before fall, roughly paraphrasing. He's falling right now. He's going to try and save himself, but it's going to it's nothing he can do because his time is up. Verse 19, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but he shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Because just think when all that chaos, if all, if all that chaos breaks out, right? Motherfuckers is going to be, see, people going to be doing all the crazy shit. They're going to be going in, you know, uh, running into these stores. Motherfuckers going to be taking TVs and a bunch of dumb shit that they don't need. They're not going to be taking no, no type of um, canned goods, no damn, uh, 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 fucking uh, uh uh nothing that will be beneficial to them they're gonna be taking the liquor motherfuckers gonna be taking the damn lottery scratch off as if the lottery is gonna still exist they're gonna be taking the cigarettes the liquor and, and pretty much overall that's it all the blunts they're gonna hit the damn weed dispensaries they're gonna hit all your little pharmacies grab up all the pills people gonna get, be out here high as hell just um uh, ravishing <laughs> just running through the city just doing all kinds of madness man the scriptures talks about how they're, they're going to come down with um, great wrath, man. So once you see, oh, it's, it's going to be a lack of everything. They're going to they're going to raid these stores, gas stations, liquor stores, your Walmart, your Targets, anything that's like you're not going to be able to find a motherfucking bag of chips, man. If you see a bag of chips, it's going to be crushed on the ground and shit, you know, with shit everywhere. Because they're going to they're going to raid these places, man. Then there's not going to be nowhere you can actually go and shop. Then it's going to be, motherfucking, if you know a person with some food, it's going to be dangerous just trying to get to them to get it. If they're even offering it to you. So you're about to come into some real fucking dangerous times out here, man. Shit is about to get real, real scant out this month, man. So just know, <laughs> the scripture says to um, walk circumspectly, man, not as fools, but as wise because the days are evil. This shit, this type of shit right here, this is the type of stuff. Because see, this story, it, it was last year, 2023 in March. So why was it they talking about this then? They understand that this right here will rile up the average Republican, man. This is this this riles up the average Trump supporter. So he's he he this man has been pressing on both ends, man. Democratic end, he's been pissing them off. And, and, and your Republican end, but see those Republicans, those are the ones that's really got the real firepower. 
Those are the ones with all the bullets and all the goddamn guns. You got some of these Democrats, don't get me wrong, because white people, they just enter that sword anyway. That's their, that's their gift, man. They love that goddamn gun. But those Republicans, they love it even more because they really believe that that, that, that guy that was in that video that the apostle had put up, he was talking about um, this is a holy war. <laughs> We're fighting for God and country. What's well, a holy war, all right? They just don't know that... that sh this shit is downhill for them, and, and there's no coming back up. Trump is not going to make America great again, man. And pretty much overall, that might be... We're not ignorant of Satan's devices, man. They got to they gotta eventually push this chip at some point. Because they really want to chip people. They really want that reset. And so if you motherfuckers tear up the country, that's going to be the perfect reason for them to have a reset. Then next thing you know... They're going to be rationing off your little um, little box of goddamn food. You know what I'm saying? Your little <laughs> they're going to be rationing that shit off to you after you take your chip. Because they're going to want to, you know, pretty much overall, we know what it is, man. This man, he wants it. This is what the, the, the elite want. They don't care how many of you motherfuckers die. They already talking about population control. They don't care how many people get popped. You know, they don't care anything about that. They want the world to kill off as many people that can be killed off. They, 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 want, they love this chaos. They create this chaos. But anyway, I'm going to end out there. I'm telling you, if this shit right here is really real, it don't make no difference. But see, this is propaganda. It don't make no difference if this story is real or not. Because the people that see this article, they, they sharing this shit. No, you know, they, you know they done shared it. Have you heard about this or have you heard about that? You can see the divisive videos, man. That's all on, on the tube, man. So just get ready, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I said again, hey, be, be circumspect. Pray to your Yahweh Shem Yahweh for mercy and protection over your household, man. Or, you know, and, and, and just watch yourself, man. You know, so with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying for me. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shem Yahweh